What's going on everybody? Steve Pulaski back with another video review this time of Azale Jacobs The Lovers. Now, if you haven't seen anything by Azale Jacobs yet, I highly, or if that name means nothing to you, I highly recommend that you check out his movie Terry. Very good indie dramedy uh, starring Jacob Wysocki and John C. Riley. Definitely make time for that one. I highly recommend that. But... Anyway, The Lover stars Deborah Winger and Tracy Letts as an aging married couple who are both cheating on one another, having an affair, and the other parties don't really know for sure, like they don't know that one another's cheating, but they kind of have inklings to it, and they understand that, you know, while the person wouldn't be justified in doing it, it's at least understood because their marriage, their communication, their romanticism has soured completely. Tracy Letts is uh, somewhat of a workaholic, but he's really just kind of distant, doesn't really express his emotions, and Deborah Winger's character is just very uh, emotionally cold hold as well. And that's about the extent of the film. They have a son who's coming to visit from college with him and his girlfriend, so they're trying to, each one of them thinks that like after that they're going to try to keep it together, you know what I mean? Or after uh, he comes to visit, then they're going to uh, break off the marriage, and then they're going to kind of get the uh, announced divorce and whatnot. But they're kind of trying to hold it together with themselves. The first hour of the film largely shows uh, the action, the different um, relationships they have with there with the person that they're uh, seeing. That That's really the first hour of the movie, which isn't as good as the last half an hour, in my opinion. I think the last half an hour uh, is more of an, it deals with more of the inevitability of a lot of marriages, uh, sort of like a doomy quality, especially when you contrast it with uh, their son's uh, relationship with this new woman. I think that stuff works well. The first hour is kind of like the unfortunate side of domesticity, and you're getting to know a little bit about the the characters and who they're having an affair with, which doesn't really do a, a whole lot in, in, in an explicit sense because these characters, at least the ones that they're cheating on with, they don't really have a ton of personality, I feel. I don't feel that they're very, uh, you know, uh, large-scale personalities or really any kind of developed personalities. And this film is very low-key, okay? This film is very humble. It's very, um, you know, moves very delicately. There's not a lot that really, quote unquote, happens by the standards of like Hollywood film and stuff like that. So it's very subtle and low key. You're going to have to be patient with it. But the last half an hour, which is this somber, inevitable look at marriage and stuff like that, contrasted with this younger, livelier couple who are more devoted with one another, and not to mention that they're related to the, the married couple themselves. I mean, the son is. So it, it, it really goes to show at the very last half an hour how well this movie comes together. The problems I just had with it are the fact that I think it kind of drags out the relationships with the uh, with the people the, the the people that they're cheating with. I think that kind of drags out a little bit too long. And not to mention it's kind of conducted in a very vignette style where it kind of just cut. It shows a lot of the little moments of life which I liked, but it kind of cuts in and out. And the pacing I feel has a little bit of issues too in the beginning. The last thing I think is I do not care for the ending. The la the movie would have been be I would be giving it a a little bit more positive review if the movie had ended 10 seconds literally 10 seconds before it did I would I, I, I did not come to see something like this to have a happy ending and that's really not a spoiler but I came to see a more emotionally honest realistic look and I got that for the most part up until the final 10 seconds I'm Steve Pulaski. I give The Lovers a solid two and a half out of four stars. I'm going to give it a C plus on Influx Magazine. I think it's good. I think it's worth watching in some respects. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. It's not a film to lift your spirits really by any means, but it is definitely a, a good, a fairly good drama about middle-aged couples, which we don't get a lot. I think the last really, really good one we got was Hope Springs. I recommend The Lovers, directed by Azale Jacobs. I'm Steve Pulaski. Next week, I'll be coming with a review that everybody's looking forward to, Wonder Woman, in addition to Captain Underpants, the first, first epic movie. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't.